Hi, this is JB Harris and I am about to report process flow diagram symbols. Okay, so let's go. What are process diag flow diagram symbols? So first, discuss about the process flow diagram which are used to show the elements of the design plan including the flow of it of instrument signals, piping, and some other specifications of each element in the plant. So the most common um, symbols to being used for process flow diagram is the piping instrumentation diagram or P and ID symbols. So what are those P and ID symbols? It is what might be the consi be considered the Bible of the chemical process plant or CPI. PINDs can also be called engineering flow that drawing or mechanical flow, flow diagram. So here are some examples of P and ID symbols. So let's take a look. So here are some equip symbols of equipments. So the compressors, the pumps, and then the cooling tower, the heat exchangers and whatsoever. And then the valves, the piping and piping and con connection shapes, and then the ins the symbols for instruments. Okay. So, what are the general rules in drawing of P and IDs? So first, we take we must take note of the items in P and I on P and IDs. According to Tor Gray. There are basically four different items that can be shown on P and IDs. So those are pipes and other flow conductors, equipments, instruments, and instrument and control signals. So what are so first, what are pipes and other flow conductors? Pipes and other flow conductors such as examples of those are pipes, transient channels, and so on direct and transfer fluid from one equipment to another next one next is the um, exception for uh, pipes and other flow conductors which which are tubes these are not generally shown in PNIDs however there are there can be some footprints of tubes that can be seen on PNIDs Next is the items of for transferring bulk materials are generally categorized as equipment rather than flow conductors. And lastly, no pipe fittings are shown except for these reducers, process flanges, cup plug, and cup plug and line flanges. So he, here's a figure of um flow conductors and pipes so here it is this may contain uh, a number of elbows but a number of elbows in reality but here in the figure this it is um, represented only by straight line and then there are some uh, elements that should be shown in PNIDs like reducers Reducer and T and T or OLED. Okay. Next is the, the equipment. Examples of those are pumps, compressors, heat exchangers, and reactors. And container can accurately be classified as equipment, so therefore um, it is included for equipments. And then so, instruments to implement every process two requirements should be met the process element should should be designed and tailored for a certain process and control system sh and the control system should be formed to ensure implementation so the symbols of these are shown a while ago on a set of examples then lastly are the signals. Signal signals provide the means for instruments to com communicate with each other. 
if there are two separate instruments and if there is a signal between between them this signal should be depicted so next are the visual rules for p and id first the p and id sheet is almost always in landscape orientation next Limit the number of main equipment shown on each side of sheet. So there must be a uh, minimum. There must be a uh, minimum number of uh, a P and ID items in the sheet, and and there must be no overcrowding of uh, items in the sheet. And then a P and ID is a pictorial document. To so minimize, also minimize notes in the drawing. No note stuff drawing in the um, PNID sheet. Next, draw PNID symbols as similar as possible to what an item looks like in reality, and approximate the relative size. But remember, but remember, a PNID is not drawn to scale. Just approximate the size. Do not represent the real length of pipes on P and IDs, as in connection to the rule number four uh, before. And P and ID is not to scale drawing. Therefore, short line of a P and ID should, could represent a few hundred meters of pipe. And also, uh, as I stated a while ago, there could be a number of elbows. In the in in just a, a, a representation of a line. Next, do not pack symbols on one side of the PNID sheet. The symbols should be fairly spread out. And generally, an equipment is arranged horizontally on one end on one level. On an ideal PNID sheet, any imaginary vertical line should, at maximum, cross one equip equipment symbol. The PNID will be too difficult to understand when equipment symbols are stuck on the, each other and the connection between the symbols and the equipment callouts are difficult to be identified. So here is an example. So again, a while ago, as I stated, the symbols should be, should be fairly spread out and not stuck on one side. Okay. Next rule is all the different elements of P and ID sheet should be connected to each other. And no other elements inside the sheet which is not actually connected to other elements. No visiting stream is allowed. The visiting stream is a stream that has no connection with each other, each, with other items on the PNID. So, to as an example, so this. This is a visiting stream. It has no connection with the actual the string at the upper side and, and that should be eliminated should be eliminated next do not try to present PNID in a, in a way that the follows geographical directions again um, also in connection to the very first rule that the pin ID sheet must be horizontal or essentially horizontal and uh, if the geographical uh, direction of the of the elements are followed then consequen consequentially the, um, the rule number one will be violated so next is the some auxiliary rules like, like the line crossing over. Crossing lines are in the PNID is not actually acceptable aesthetically, but 
unavoidable in some cases. However, pipe crossing in the field shows a mistake in, in the design. A crossover could be shown in PNIDs in two forms, jump or jog. So what are so what are those here? In, so if there are crossing, there are only two choices. You, you can jump or you can jog. Depend depending on uh, depending on the designer, but just be consistent with what you are. Um, With what they are using in the sheet so for pervading lines so here it is horizontal lines must prevail on all other lines above vertical and above instrumental si instrument signal lines so here is one example of line crossing over so here is the horizontal line prevailing over vertical line and prevailing over signal line okay next auxiliary rule is the equipment crossing so equipment cross equipment equipment crossing is actually not allowed in p and id meanwhile the equipment line crossing can be sh also shown but it is not good in practice but for that to, but it is also managed by using brakes on the line so here are some examples this is the equipment equipment crossing which is actually not allowed in PNID but for the case of uh, equipment line crossing for piping which is not actually connected to the to the item but uh, but crossing on the it on the item we may use the this break okay so that's all thank you